looks like it's up and running. Let's give it a couple of minutes for people to join. Hello there. Hi Matt, you ready? I'm ready, I think, I think I've got it up and running and going, I think. <laughs> Right. Okay. I think. I think. I think I've done that. Cause I'm. I'm on, I think I'm on the site now. I, I gotta look. I gotta look. Okay. Have fun. Okay. Thank you. So we'll just give it, just give it to, just to two minutes, everybody, and then we'll, uh, we'll get the class going. Okay, are we orientated the correct way around? That's what I'm wondering. So, my badge should be in my badge. That's my badge. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Okay, we just just thirty more seconds, and we'll we'll get on going. Okay, ready. I think we will. I think we'll get on started. So, okay, let's go. Ready? Well, let's just do a little warm up first. So, just jump in. Side side. Rounds and change. Just stretching out Shikidashi. Sides. 
I change the weight. Hit the knee. Center. Of an eight. Just stretching out the ankles. And pull the foot, increase the stretch. Knee down, press it through. And leg across. Arm in. And change. Stretching back. Side stretch. Zen cuts. And both foot. Knee down, hip through. Leg across. Press back. Side. Hips front, looking up. Stretch back, the shoulders. And then just legs through. Shake on loose. And stretch front. Legs in. One out, one up, and go around, and change. Press down, pull in, stretch up, over, and twist. Change. Hold leg up, and go around, and away. Press down, pull in, up, over, and twist. And then sitting through the toes back. Up, knees round, and change. Hips around, and change. Arm across, behind, arm across, arm behind, and shake it all loose. Okay, we just do some leg swings to get open up these hips before we get into the cutter side. So, just over this left leg forward, the single touch here, just hands out to the side, and just nice and light, back leg swinging. Straight up, edge, knee, time, she, roll, up, she, arch, cool, you. And so some arcing now. So we move in and 
line all the way, but you just really get these hips woken up, ready? Eight, Navy, Sun, Chi, Go. And let's reverse that back the other direction. Eight, Navy, Sun, Chi, Go. And I change legs. Other side, just straight up and back. Eight, knee, turn, shake, go, up, shake, arch, cool, two. Same thing with arch leg. Eight, knee, turn, shake, go. Bring it back in the other way. Hey, knee, son, chi, go. And you're ready. Again, it's round. And change. So, uh, we're we'll be working on the cat's edge in. Um, hopefully, it's uh, the same uh, specifications that you do it, but. Don't worry, it isn't. So, first of all, we're going to just open up his shoulders a little bit. So, obviously, the opening moves of the cutter, we have this inwards compression, so this outwards expansion again. So, we're going to really be involving our shoulders and our chest muscles here. So, first thing I want to do is just reach across your body. So, doesn't matter which hand I'm on, right hand over, stretching. And then release out. And the other way, ready? Stretch in and release. Knee, ready? Sam. Stretch, she. Go. Hug. She. Hush. Cool. Two. And relax it. So then, by one count, just get that feeling of stretch and relax. That real compression. To feel the expansion come back out. Ready? Hey! Good. And the same through the left hand over the top. Ready? Hey! Good. Sound! Shake! Go! Good. Use those shoulders. Hook! Shake! Ha! Go! Joe! And relax it off. So, the only move of the kata, we're going to be moving back and making Gidan Barai with our right, Uchiyuki with our left. And we're trying to hit this tight position a bit. Straight down the side, slightly over, so you have the full block, not in the centre. And the left hand, not in front, just slightly pushing in as well. So we're going to hit this position. So let's just start with our hands together. No legs. And just get that feeling of compression to hit out. Ready? Hit! Good. And then back. Right hand, left hand on top again. Uh, if you're just breaking the arms, making this position, then you're not involving the body, so you're losing so much strength and power. So from this point, we're going to squeeze in and hit. Hish! And back to you. Ready? Knee! And again. Ready? Ha! And again, she. And again, ho. Done. Hug. She. Hush. Cool. Two. And again. So obviously, with this first movement now, we're going to be stepping straight backwards. Left leg's going to be going backwards, and we're making this double block. The feeling though, as the weight goes backwards, I want the power to project forwards. So I don't want something which is going to be having this type of feeling to it where everything is going away. I want the feeling of going down and pressing the weight forward. So I'm pro projecting my weight. And my back foot will be going out, sort of like a shirigiri style, where it goes to go bump, straight out to that point. So. To practice that feeling, everyone wants to put your legs together for me. 
and then just put your left hand out into punching position. So we'll start with the right leg going back, and I want you to just step back and making Yakuzuki into Zenka Sadashi. Hey. Good. Step up, legs together, hand out. Step back now, left hand, and then punch. Hey. And back up. San. And. Che. And. Go. And. And up. Hey. And up. So now if we picture that someone's running at us from this position, and I've got to step back and make that Yakuzuki. So I've got to have to now feel this joint is going to have to be going back and then squeezing in to make this powerful position rather than this backwards feeling. Down and then hit. And each time I go back, I'm trying to go in my stance position as well. So, at the moment my feet are together, and as I go back, I'll get a slight turn off the front foot, so I've got a squeeze within the legs. And I'm trying not to leave it so it's going flat out, so your knee is projecting. So, same drill again for me please everyone. So, we'll start the left hand out, right hand on your hip, stepping back to make that punch. Ready? Uh. Hey! Come! Chi! Hell! Hey! 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 Come! Chi! Ah, yummy! Again, hips round. And change. Okay. So, again, now we're going to work another drill uh, towards getting the improving and working on the pattern. So, we're going to start the same way. Left hand out, legs together, right hand on your hip. First count, the same thing. Going back to get Kuzuki position again, stretching out through this hip flexor and waist. A. So I'm showing that hand is front. Then I'm just going to release and then reheat again. And that feeling of just taking the pressure off and then pushing again through the glutes and the back leg. No wobbling, don't let that knee move. Just take the pressure and hit again. Hey! Good. Then making my game, kick and straight back into Gyakuzuki. Tanishi! And step up, legs together again. So I'm going to step back with the left leg and I'm going to make left hand Gyakuzuki. Hey! But then again, same thing, release the pressure slightly, hit again. Hey! Keep his front leg strong. Kick, back, punch. Tanshi. And step up. Good. So going back, Yakuzuki. Hey. Hitting again. Knee. Maege. Yakuzuki. Tanshi. And up. Going back. Hey. Hit again. Hey. Kick, punch. Tanshi. And back up. Hey! Knee! Sanji! And back up. Going back. Hey! Knee! Sanji! And back up. And go hey! And relax. So all these millions of notes coming through. Fantastic. Oh. Okay, so plenty of things that we're working on here. Plenty of things to think about. So as I move back from this position, again, I'm going to feel like the leg's going out like a shoegay. So it's 
straight back and not onto the ball of the foot. And so I get that placement down. It's directly out into the anchor position. And also the timing of the hit. The timing of the hit as I make that movement back. So everything hits at the same time. Then, the thing of just relaxing. Relax that position and then reload that punch. So the glutes and the core are hitting with that punch. Uh, what you don't want is just nothing or equally as bad is a shake and a wobble through the core. So it's just relax and hit. The kick the punch, keep low. So like a defending style kick, like someone's running at me and I'm gonna reach and then everything goes back to stop at the same time. So let's get going. Left hand out, same count as before. First, going back, Gyakuzuki. Hish! Re hit, knee. Kick punch, ta! And up here. Going back, Jack Kazuki. Hey! Re hit, knee. Kick punch, ta! And coming back up again. Ready? Towards, I'm going towards the camera. So I'm squeezing towards the camera. Hey, good. That left leg then goes forward into the corpus dash. Hey, I'm going to use the energy which is now compounding to my right joint, my hip. That's the energy I'm going to drive. Tom. Very good. Very good. Right leg's going to come up. So the moment I'm showing, the squeeze is going to take me in the air. That same right leg, I'm going to fall down my weight as much as I can to stay where it was. Then I'm going to use that weight. Tam. Very good. Left leg is going to pull in. Then my body's here. Squeeze to here. Hish. That same left leg, it's gonna go forward again. Shoot my weight where it is. Eight. Sit on that back leg and drive it in. Tap. Good. Right leg, we're gonna move it. Hish. Right leg, knee. Drive, tap. Left leg, ready? Hish. Knee. Tap. Good. Right leg. trying to use a full body action, a full body action. 
So we get on staccata. In the whenever we get on staccata, we have a movement here where we're going to go to manage Yuki. So here now we're exaggerating that position. We're exaggerating. We're taking it to the absolute maximum and then out. So I believe in that kihon, we should try if we can to maximise things uh, because when we get going full speed in the kata. Uh, grading, competition, or just in the dojo, the faster you go, the technique will start to just slightly fall away. But if you maximize that technique in your kihon, the essence of it will always be there. And so you're creating whip and power, but it just becomes a more subtle way of doing it when we go into the kata. So now we're building the blocks, we're putting the pieces in place, so the kata will stay strong. But what we've always got to be, and I know there's so many good karate people watching this now, and understanding this anyway, we have to be so careful that we're not just making shapes, going from one movement to another shape to another shape, where there's no power involved. And if you have a have to use your kayate, it's going to do nothing. But we know that. We know that. So let's do that. Let's work on that same drill again. So we're going to start off with you know, this left leg forward into Zenka Tadeshi. All I want you to do now is I bring that right leg up and I twist with that right leg, I'm now going to be preparing in. So, right leg will come up, left hand will come out, right hand will be at the shoulder, so this position. So, that start position for my view here, ready? Hey! When I step forward with that right leg, pull to your my view. Hey! And then we're going to use Tokichi. So, knife hand strike, we've got them later in the kata, but we're just going to Open that shoulder joint and hit. Tom. Good. Left leg's gonna do the work. So we squeeze towards the camera. Again, starting the manjuki position. Right hand down. Left hand up. Hey. Stepping forward. Use that hip. Hip. Hey. So I'm putting that completely on the side. Then use all that power through the joints, your shoulder, and through your hip. Tom. Very good, very good, very good. Right leg's gonna come up, and we're gonna prepare. Hey! Same feeling, hip, and hand, knee, and hit, time! Left leg prepare, hey! Again, use all that body, hey! Time! Good, one more, one more. So, let's work now through the opening half. That was my Alexa chatting to me there, giving some advice on teaching. Thank you Alexa, that was very happy. I have actually got my wife sat in here as well, she's sitting here watching the iPad. Come say hello. Wave. Hello. <laughs> so she's there, second to forget any messages saying, what are you doing, what are you doing? Okay, so. Let's work on the beginning of this kata. First thing I want to do though, everyone, is that we're going to do it, first of all, just go from natural position. So just Suzentai, just natural stance. And just start from your yoy. So I just want you to think now about the body. And then hitting right key down, right, left, do chi yuki. Hey. And then just squeeze to our manji yuki. Hey. And squeeze to manji yuki. San. And I give you key. And just punch. Pull back. I give you key. And punch. Knee down, bro. Side to the head, rotation. Side to the head, rotation. 
Side of the head, rotation, ki ha! And yummy! So again, I'm going to be teaching this uh, uh, to the uh, uh, JKS uh, Humbu uh, standards, uh, uh, the way they want, want things done. Again, if you do it slightly different. Um, the main thing in this kata, which I know uh, that Jin isn't a JKA kata anymore, but, but when it was, and um, my previous uh, time in the JKA, JK Association, the Gidam right always over the front leg in this kata. I know that uh, Kanazawa root styles sometimes have it the other way around, and if you do it the other way around, by all means, carry on doing it now. I can't change it. <laughs> That's just fine. Uh, but for now, for my teaching, the Gidam right will always be over the front leg within this kata. Uh, Mishuto, Uchis. Uh, again, uh, when training in Tokyo, they say uh, chudan, chudan, but this is a it's, a, it's a high chudan. So it's sort of just below the shoulder joint, maybe the same feeling you'd have in here and Nidan, that same, which gives you a good strong line of power, slight bend, good strong shuto. I've got a bad finger, it never sticks in there, but that point there. So, let's just now start adding the legs in. So we'll start with the legs together, and we've got our left hand on top. So we're going to step in back with the left leg, squeezing. Hey. Good. So in the key home, we just practiced, we've completely twisted our body in. Now we can just get a feeling of just coming in and then whipping out the weight on that right leg. Ready? Hey. Good. Then everybody turning, turning my weight in to pull it back the other direction, switching to corpus deck. Pam. And I'm going to make Ayagi Yuki. Going with my left hand, going towards my left corner. And again, I don't want to just step into this position. I want the feeling of the weight driving to Ayagi Yuki. Ready? Hey! And then stepping Ayazuki. Hey! Then going to the other direction again. I don't want to just step across to this position, making a shape. I need to pull that weight in. And hit to Ayuki. Hey! And I'm gonna try not to step on my wife if I make Ayuzuki. But if I do, it's collateral damage, it's okay. Hey! Good. Get down the right to the front. Now, when I'm teaching, I teach um, some kata squads uh, and especially training with Kagawa Shihan uh, whenever you can. They put massive emphasis on these Gidan Burais in this kata, saying that often people will just, and I'm sure I've done it myself plenty, sort of just make a move thinking about the next ones that are coming, rather than driving in, thinking of that as an attack or a very strong block. So now check that you're using your whole body and I'm driving in to it and not falling away from it. So ready, left hand, in. Good, then we're going to twist in. But our right hand's going to come up and we're going to use that whole body motion now to come around to make this shuto. So don't delay it too late so it becomes disconnected. It could don't go too early. Time the hip and the hand to shuto. Hish! And then we've got the same thing again. Start that weight moving! And once more, this is our first key out there, ready? Ha! Ni ya! Ha! Yummy! And relax. I said I've got my, uh, my wife on job duty. I've been asking, uh, do you know why JK removed the cutter? Oh, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, the story we've always said it isn't in best clarity. Um, but whether that's true, I'm not the one to ask. But I'm sure someone in here will know. I'm going to put that out. It's a shame, it's a lovely cutter. It's a lovely cutter. Okay. Same again. So, let's just start from that point. So, hands out, body tour. Then the feeling like we did in the beginning when we went back to the Jakazuki, straight back and hit. Hit. Good. Then, get that hip involved. Get that hip, mind you, Yuki. Hit. Check out your heels online. Correct stance. Here now. 
uh, I feel the worst thing that you can do personally, I think it's just when you see people just change to that point. And they're missing out the in-between, they're missing out the parity, the pull, the block, and the weight transfer backwards. Hey! Very good. I do again. Think about your left hip joint. Left hip firing in. Hish! And then shun! Hey! Good right hip fight! Hish! And then shun! Hey! Idama! Hish! Right from the side! Hish! Right from the side! Hey! Oh, one more cast! Ah, ah yummy! Ah, relax. Uh, another thing that I, I'm sure we all see, um, is you tall. You should tall when people go. And, you, and there's no arc in the movement because they're trying to be so fast and they take away the arc. The arc obviously must be there. Uh, we talk about the old videos uh, of uh, Oyama Sensei knocking off the, bah, the tops of the beer bottles. As if you picture that when you're doing it, don't picture the beer, just picture the beer bottles, then you well that will become redundant. And any time you're in a, a fight situation and you hit someone with this, that fight isn't going to go your way. So we must open and use. Oh, that arc to come round. Right. Once that's one more time up to there, then we'll start working on the, the second part of the cutter. So right. Again, same thing, we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna squeeze and hit. Hit. Involve the hip. Hit. Involve the hip. Hit. 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 See my feet, but I'm trying to get my feet forward. Keep it there. Okay, so let's work at this uh, second part of the kata. So obviously from this point here, we're going to be stepping left leg forward, katko akiyuki, into left leg forward, then kashidashi, front stance position. So when I come from this point here, the hands are going to cross, and then feel the weight is surging forward. So I'd say, try not to do something like this, where you step and just use your arms. Because if I had to move something, my arms aren't strong enough. So how many curls I do, my arms aren't strong enough. But if I involve my whole body, surge that weight forwards, then the karate becomes alive. So, I will move and then surge that weight in. And a forward trajectory, not a sideways, so that all the weight presses forth. So if we go to uh, away from the camera now, we start from the shuto, and we're gonna bring that left leg in the beat and then press it out. Eesh. Good, and back again. So again, the weight, oh, traveling in, hey. Good. And again, get into your strong, then good two position, check. Front foot slightly turn in, back foot 45, strong through your glutes. And again, ready? Sam! Good, and again. Chi! That felt a better one for me. And again. Go! First four, yeah. Good, then from this position, Maige Oizuki Yakuzuki. So maybe then push through that back leg. Uh, this punch unusual, I'm not completely showman, but not like a gazamazuki, just a little bit. I can immediately switch to that gakazuki. So uh, kick, double punch. Ish nitan. Squeeze on it. Key. Good, and relax. 
Right, so just so we're, uh, uh, we're learning that the way we're going. I'm onto the camera. I'll hit my key eye point. Left leg is going to turn. Turn. Weight surges forward. Ready. So you can do that with me. A. Right leg kick. Think about the push off the back leg. On the landing. Knee. For hit. Turn. And then forward. Chi. Excellent. Right. Uh, another thing to think about here is don't, uh, I would say, and it can be, I know it can be done, so this is in slight, slight honey, showman. Now, you can reuse your hip, or uh, JK style, it's just after that you're pressing, surging that way in. And I really like that feeling. I really like that feeling of, I've hit, I've hit, and then just the upper body, just that reset forwards without a twist. But up to you, obviously. Obviously up to you. <laughs> Once more, ready? So from the top, left leg is gonna go around, or in and out. Hey, chin right out. Good kick, double punch. Knee, stand chi. And then that double block, go. Oh. Repeat the action. Right leg. Again, this is important now. We don't just go and step across to the other side with no clarity involved. I pull back and surge the weight back in again. So from my Zen Kutsudashi position, set the weight onto your back leg. Squeeze and fall. Ready. So that weight, everything pushes in at the same time. And not, again, you often see this in competition. Uh, and I try my squad say, don't do this, don't do this, but you see some landing and then hands going all by themselves. Bang, three. So once more, ready? So I'm right leg forward, right hand get down, left hand, Uchi, Kakwa Kyu, hey! Maige, Oizuki left, Jakuzuki right. Reish, knee turn. And then that squeeze, gi down by right, over the front leg. Chi. Come here. Hand locks. Again, more for me than you. I need to have a quick little drink. So we're up now to the free uh, tetsuri, free hammer fist in the kata. Well, we have two going away on the, on the large arc, and then one coming straight through the center. So uh, I'm going to practice this drill, everyone. So if everyone, we'll do it from kibidashi. So can you, it doesn't matter if you're chasing towards or away from camera, can you just go to kibidashi, but the left leg is forward. I want you now to take your right leg to come all the way in and behind you, feet on line as much as you can. Knee. But then take your left leg, the same feeling. Turn. And then the final one is for G. Depending on space you've got. I'm lucky with my own house dojo. Okay, so. Then you're going to turn right it and you're going to go around the back the other way. So, right leg is going to step. And I'm going to turn. Hey. Left leg is going to go around. Hey. And then final one, just straight. Time. I'm going to hey. Same thing again. Ready? Hey. And again. Hey. Four time. I'm going to hey. Ah, yeah, hey. Right. 
then we've got to think about the power development with those three moves. So we want the weight, obviously, uh, transferring from our body and our hips into each of those strikes. So, when I'm moving that first one, I want my turning point to be my heel, my left heel. So all my weight will then be moving forwards. If I go on my toe, as I'm coming around, the weight will actually be transferring away, if you can see me or not, away as I hit. So again, if I was going to hit someone with a spinning back fist, I would want one. I would want all the weight going into that direction. But from this point, from this point, all that weight. So there's my spinning exercise with my left, and I don't step and then turn. I try and use all my hips. So my hips will turn me around to that point. So as fast as you can. Ready? Hey! Ready for the next one again. The hips. The hips. Hey! Good. And the last one is easy by comparison. Now I must rotate on the ball of the foot so all the weight goes forward. Tam. Excellent. Right. Let's put the tattoo in. So in fact, we'll go from the cutter position. So our left leg forward, right hand. Uh, this can be done from where it is or squeezed underneath. Uh, JK style with squeeze underneath. I used to do it over, but squeeze underneath. So now I want that connection between my right hand and my right hip. So everything is into that strike there. Ready? Hey! Good. And then I want that turn again. That turn, everything into that straight there. Knee. And the final one, going straight forward again. Squeeze underneath, squeeze your shoulders. And hit. Ta. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Then one more. Eh? Uh, I think this case of the cutter should also feel really risky. It should feel uh, on the edge. I, the faster I spin, the more hip I use, the more chance I have of going, of losing my balance. The cutter should always be done on the edge, yeah? never safe and dull, always just on that edge. So it has that look of, uh, of risk when you're moving. So now if you're at home, what have you got to lose? If you fall over, no, if I fall over, everyone can see you. I mean, we can all laugh. That's okay. If you fall over, it doesn't matter. So ready, let's go to my count. My count, so twist on the heel, hip going, ready? First one, hey, shawam! Good, second one, hey, shawam! Third one, ha! Oh, yes. Right, so we're up to now, the last part of the cutter. So I've just hit my tetsui. From here, I'm gonna step forward. And I'm going to step forward at Kishuto, just into Zen Kutsudashi. So, uh, and I've seen it on Sochudashi, not mistake, but for now, Zen Kutsudashi. So, from this point towards the corner, again, time it. Try not to step and then move your arm. Try and sink everything up, and so on, pressing to that Kishuto. Ready? Hey! Good, and again, and again. Trying to come up and down, keep low, ready. Hey. Good, and really feel, as I'm going out of that left, the right is preparing, the chest is expanding, ready for the release of energy. And again, ready. Hey. Good. So, we did this in the beginning of the class. Double punch, kick punch. So now we've got all the energy into the first punch. Relock to the second punch. Kick, and then punch again. And then we finish it with the double gidama. So ready, I? So double punch, ishni. Good. Kick punch, sanchi. And lock, come. 
Very good. Good. Right. And my advice on this bit is, again, working with our competitors all the time, is what you'll get people doing is messing up the first punch in this sequence because they're just trying to get them thinking so much about speed and being fast that they'll mess up the first punch. And so we'll get a really good position up to here and then we'll get where the punch maybe got to about here and then the second punch was fairly strong. But the energy of the second punch was killed by the not completing the first punch because my hip didn't hit that maximum point. So I'm gonna think about that strong hickety. So much like a boom. So I'm gonna each time I get the maximum, maximum point. Maximum. And my body will lock that split second, then re-lock again. Uh, here, relax. Kick. I like in the beginning. Everything going back, don't ball of foot. And then hit. So you get this strange uh, jolt in your body. Right, so let's do that by one count. So we're going to go from touch to toe, double punch, kick, and then punch. Out, and then block. So I'm ready, ready, ready. hardest move in the whole cutter. This is good. It has to be hip. It has to be hip. If I step, this knee will get left behind and will come in late and be lazy or in a really bad position. So I've got to think, how much can I move my hip? Hip! To try and whip me round into that point. And as I'm going around now, the hands will be swapping to hit on the landing, right down and left up. So let's try that, ready? So I'm left, forward, left hand forward, ready, left leg, squeeze from my hip. Hey! Honey! Ready? Hey! Good, and again. And try not to corrupt your back foot. Try not to let it step out. Instead, feel like the squeeze is in as we're moving. Ready? Two more. Ready? Hey! And back. One more. Hey! Good. Uh, go ahead, his left hand, that's that one. It's not gonna make you dumb, right? Again, don't just dip it down. Involve your shoulder by squeeze to hit down. Squeeze it in. And like punching down. Ready? Hey! Very good. And then smooth double uchiyuki. Time. And again, that position of power where my hands are here. Not here. So the shoulder joints are free, uh, have become uh, disconnected to the tutorials. There. So now they're still free, but they're connected. I mean, double punch to finish. Uh, we used to go Jordan Chudan, JKS, Chudan Chudan. I don't think it really matters. In the great scheme of things, I don't think it really matters. So ready, double punch, ready. Left, right, three, hey. Good. And then, left leg. Oh, yummy. Ah, oh, relax. But I tell you what I think does really matter is about how you're moving your left leg up to this point. And are we, uh, are we showing Zanshin? Are we showing correct Zanshin? So I've made the double hit and the tendency, can you see my feet okay? Yes. So there's a tendency to almost think, oh, it's over. Phew, done that cutter, nice, or oh, I could have done it better, all those thoughts. And then something like that happens. Where you lose that connection, the foot points out and you come up to that point there. Rather than that squeeze, squeeze, everything hits at the same time the ending, and that left leg comes up, oh, and that 
boom, in that fashion there. Look at those little details, you know, when you're, maybe you're, you're doing a downgrading or something and you think someone gets to the end of the kata, basadai, whatever, and they get to the end of basadai and you're thinking, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Is it, is it good? Was it not? Oh, some bits. And you call yame and they squeeze it up and you think, nice. Or you call yame and the back foot flops out and you come up and you think, ah, okay, no good, no good. Right. Alright. Oh, I can see I've got, I've got a question coming here from. Thoughts on the inside lower blocks after the kick punch combo would be appreciated. Uh, which was I said? Thoughts on the inside slash lower blocks after the kick punch combo. So, I've got a question. Is after the kick punch. So, do we mean. I've got a question here, so we'll see if we can address it. Bomb. Bomb. Do we mean Some the blocks. double block? So, we had the beginning, uh, um, beginning of the class, we worked. On the, on the squeeze, the squeeze and the hit. Uh, and maybe you're thinking uh, application bunkai. Oh, good question in that case. So you, you've got a, groin, a block and then a hit to the groin, which I always, for me, that visualizes very, very simple. You've hit, you've punched, punch, there's something coming in, maybe trying to grab you, so you grab your chest, you're going to move that and you're, you're going to be driving in to that punch to the groin. I think a punch to the groin speaks for itself, really. Uh, I think it works. Uh, if you watch, I love MMA. I love the UFC. Someone gets punched in the groin, they have to give them a five minute break. They have to give them a five minute break. And I'm sure people have competed. If you've been kicked or punched in the groin, you, you, you remember it. You remember it for the rest of your life. So, if you, and again, if you visualize that in the kata, it, it adds. So that feeling going down rather than just placing it down into that position. The same thing you done right here where you're thinking of attacking maybe towards the groin. Uh, right, let's just go once through the kata. Once through the kata. Um, I've got loads of nasty exercises I was going to make you do as well, but look, time is running out. Uh, some people, if you've trained with me before, you know I love my condition, my clarity conditioning. The idea of... Um, that we've got to be like Ferraris as much as we can. We've got to build our bodies so we can do the karate that we want to do. And rather than learning moves, we've got to learn the whole body to become hmm, weaponized. Uh, but today, I don't think we're going to get time for any horrible exercises. Maybe another time, another time. Let's just go through the kata once from the beginning, nice and light. Go through those points that we worked on. So, Get together. Hey. Jin. Oh. So again, we're going to go backwards, thinking about keeping the weight, the core forwards. Double block. Hey. Good. Then we're going to be moving to that left hand side. Can involve that hip. Squeeze. Back stance. Hey. And then come into the other direction. Again, use that hip. So whip your hip back. Whip it in out of ish. And then forward, oizuki. Again, use that hip back and hit it, ish. And then forward, oizuki. Gidamai, Connection now between the body, coming around, keep it that shishi to, ish. And again, coming forward, ish. And final one, ki ha. Left leg. Left leg will draw in slightly to press out, whole body. Ish. Kick, punch, punch. And then get down. Draw in. Squeeze, press. Ish. Kick, punch, punch. Ashi. Again, push it. Kick. Then we've got that connection between the hip. So let's heel practice and then anything in. Hey. Reversing that around. Knee. And then forward. Ta. 45 degrees. Pull in back. Hey. Two punches. Full on both. Kick punch. Gio. Squeeze to hit. Ha. Then think about that. Hit. To change, ish, get on, knee, hand up, sound, left, right, ki eye, think now, touch in, squeeze, come in, hey, hand, relax.
because I'm going to Okay. I don't, I don't know if I'm mirrored or not. I don't know if my left is my left and my right is my right. <laughs> uh, I was going to do it uh, going that way so you can follow, but if that is mirrored, that would completely not help at all. But it's not. So we won't bother, we won't bother with that. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's, uh, let's just go through it once to count and we'll put some speed and power on it and then we can call ourselves a happy, happy Monday. Hey, so. Still to count. Good to go, hey. Get in. Oh. So I'm gonna try now, I'm gonna try and explode on this first move, but I feel you're completely relaxed to energy. Moving out. So as soon as I move back, hit. Good. Then I'm going to relax and try and use, use that body. Hish. And then reach. Knee. Good. Use that hip. Hish. Eyes are key. Hish. Use your hip. Hish. Eyes are key. Hish. Get out of my One count, kick, double punch, double block. Power on everything, ready? Good, relaxed. Hey! Cut back you, hey! Ready? Hey! Three turns, big, big, short. Ready? My one count, hey! 45 degrees. Yay! Double punch. Kick punch. Double block. Hey! Hey! To the end of the kata. Step, step. if you're having me on. A great honour. Uh, fantastic to see all the, the messages popping up, coming around from all around the world. I've really enjoyed it, so thank you very much for having me and sticking with it. So everyone, fit together. Hey, us. And I hope we all meet again. Us. Thank you everyone. I suppose I must finish. <laughs> oh, I can move my camera. Oh, oh got some great messages. Very nice. Don't know how I get those. Oh, she's laughing in there. So that keeps me busy. Some Martin's hands. Okay. Okay. Oh.